let's get going here. How are we all doing today? Welcome on in everyone. How are we, how are we, how are we, how are we, how are we hanging? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tired, but I am. <laughs> I think it's been a rough week because I'm, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> So this will be an interesting stream, I think. How are we all doing, though? Welcome on in. I don't slide. You were, like, early enough that my OBS was open. But I think, I, I feel like you might be on this screen. No. I don't know. For some reason, my chat box on this scene is completely different than everything else. So don't slide. In, just, just didn't show up. But don't slide. You're in first. How you doing? Welcome on in. And howdy, Birch. Hello, welcome on in. New intro, yeah, we got the, the funny video. I need to fiddle with the rest of it, because, I mean, it's... I, I don't know, there's something about the text still gives me, like, graphic design is my passion vibes, but... I don't know, it works. I think it looks a little bit better. We got we have rooms for silly images still. We don't, we don't gotta, we don't gotta dump off brand because, because it looks a little pretty. Maybe soften the edges. That would probably help. Yeah. I don't know. My main thing is I'm just not, I'm not an expert. <laughs> I, I filled around with that a little bit actually, but I feel like I need to get like an actual piece of software that, that does that well. <laughs> This is the only way I could get it to work in my software is basically doing it by hand, which is, uh, no, not good. Not good. <laughs> Graphic design is for nerds, honestly. Like, it's one of those things that I like to think I'm okay at. Like, I like to think, in the grand scheme of things, if I really put my mind to it and had a good idea of what I was doing, I could, I could make something good, but, man. I think one of the big things holding me back is uh, I use paint.net for everything, which is basically like GIMP, I guess. It's kind of like GIMP. It's not quite Photoshop, and it's a little bit better than MS Paint. You know, I've got layers and all that, but it's, uh, it's not elegant. It's legally obtained Photoshop. I don't think I want Photoshop, though, is the thing. Like, I don't I don't know. I've worked with Photoshop before. I took a I took a, an animation course actually a couple semesters back and it was a lot of it was in Photoshop and I don't know. I don't like it. It's not like you make money using it kinda. Yeah. I mean it is it is always the morally correct thing to pirate Adobe software, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to use it. I need to find something nice and, and lightweight and modular. Like paint paint on it is nice in that it's open source, right? So a lot of people write like extra effects, but it doesn't have support for people to make their own modules for like new tools is the issue. Got Photoshop memorized by now when you use paint on it get GIMP, you feel lost. Yeah, see I've got the opposite issue. Is like like I've been trying to trying to wane myself off, off of paint.net and to start using Clip Studio Paint for for drawing and all that. Because I feel like it just has so much better uh, compatibility for stuff like that. Like having a stabilizer changes a lot of things. <laughs> and you know, having all that asset store and all that is it's pretty sweet but paint on it doesn't got that but i open clip studio and it's like it'll take me 10 minutes to do things that takes me 10 seconds in paint on that because i've like memorized the, all the keystrokes for stuff i use and i know where everything is and it's like man but one day one day maybe i'll do like an art stream or something i'll just like fiddle on clip studio paint with maya she can teach me how to do it it could be fun Maybe draw things that chat suggests. <laughs> you learn how to use AutoCAD? Ooh, that's a big one. That's a real big one. I've never, I've never used CAD, but I've done a lot of like 
drafting software, which is, is a little complex, but then CAD, you're like adding that extra, that extra dimension to it, basically. <laughs> That's a, that's a yikes. I've, I've seen stuff about it. And like, it makes sense when I watch people do it, but like, I don't think I'd be able to replicate anything they do. It, it gives me almost live 2D vibes, but just more complex. Cause I mean, it's 3D. I haven't used AutoCAD in a long time or any 3D app, yeah. My most recent one was some 3D animation software, and it was, it was you know, a similar thing where there's like 800 menus and each one has like a hundred things in it. It's just, ooh, software, man. Why, why does software have to do everything? Why can't we just have like modules? Why can't everything be modular? Why can't we just like import something in? Like, man, why it gotta be so hard? <laughs> Oh, so yeah, I'll read the Yuki's Lord Dump. Now, dunk slide. I got you. Oh, let me see. <clears throat> in a different scene, Mine is in his private jet along with two of his men. He overhears his men talking about Daigo, maybe not pulling through from his shooting, and maybe becoming the seventh chairman of the Tojo. He's clearly offended to what he hears and shoves a bread knife to one of his men's hands. That's, that's weird. Another scene, Kiryu, Haruka, and Kazuma in an airfield with a jet stopping just beside them. Kiryu figures out how Kazuma shot Nakahara and Daigo within two hours. He uses his jet to Okinawa to Tokyo. It takes an hour to get to you. Kiryu has a decision to finish Mine once and for all and for Rikia. Both Kiryu and Haruka are heading to Kamurocho. Ooh, it's about to go down. Also seen with Mine in Daigo's hospital room where he speaks English to a mysterious person on the phone. He's scheming. He's scheming. He knows that they're coming. But you say Kyrie figures out, or no, he, uh, he he decides to finish Mina. Is that, like, is he actually up for blood? Is he actually going to murder a man? Is that is that his intentions, that he's going to kill this man? Not my cutie. No way. Maya was the biggest pain to mass deploy. I've heard things about Maya. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I've heard it's large. You learn it for your query reasons, but you can use it to make custom 3D print models. Yeah, see, 3D software is a really good skill to have, whether it be for for CAD drawings or modeling or or for printing. There's just there's just a lot that you can use it for that you can like transfer into real world things. So like, it can be fun. It's kind of an expensive thing because I mean, printing and all that is is a lot, but you get good at it, you can do some real great things with it. Like, I knew a guy who had a CNC machine that he would cut parts out for like that. And it was, it was very nice. You could, you could ask him to make anything and he'd do it. <laughs> CNC machine would be wicked, yeah. It would be, it'd be really handy, you could build anything. It's something that like it interests me, but I don't think I would ever actually do. I'm not really a carpenter, but like I watch carpentry videos and stuff on YouTube. You know, you know, I watch like William Osmond or like Adam uh, Alan Pan or like I did a thing or whatever. I do so many cool things. And it's like sometimes I wish I could do that, but it'll never happen. <laughs> Final episode of Azamanga Dunk. Jeez. It'd be so sad to be over. And you gotta watch Lucky Star after. CNC machine would be your dream. Make it a reality. Start saving up. Anyways, I'm gonna get the game going. We're even here for a bit. Let's get Final Fantasy go. We're just gonna be we're just gonna be chilling. May is not here. She's still out in, in the middle of the desert, I believe. So uh I'm just gonna be doing side quests and stuff. We're gonna be doing a lot of hunts. Maybe a couple espers if I'm feeling real frisky. But we're I'm planning to just kinda do everything that's not super super hard. Don't think Colorado is a desert. Is she in Colorado? Oh yeah, I, I think I think I joked at one point that she was going to Colorado. No, I know. <laughs> Gonna watch a Nietzsche show? 
Is that a, is that a rewatch for you? Is this your first time? Either way, hell yeah. Oh, bass is getting always so loud. First time for you? Oh, you're in for a treat. It's a good show. Alright, 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 alright. What we gotta do? We got a lot of things to do. We are, we are so far behind on hunts. I've done exactly two side hunts. <laughs> and, uh... I think there's like 35 or 40 of them. <laughs> so, all of us is a desert, especially Florida. See, it's weird because I know that's true that like Florida would be like deserty, but it's like it's one of those places that in your mind, like I don't know. When I when I think of Florida, I think of the wetlands from from World of Warcraft, where it's just like flat and there's a lot of crocodiles and there's a lot of just like dips with like water in it. So it's like, it's a desert. <laughs> but I need to purchase right there. There's a lot of, there is a lot of desert down there. I didn't get to see much of Colorado when I drove through. I just kind of like clipped around the corner, but, or not Colorado, Colorado? Yeah, Colorado. Yeah, cause I went to, I went to Grand Junction and then South, I think. So I didn't get to see much, but. You could tell that it was going more deserty than, you know, Utah, right? Western Canada, except for BC, it's just a desert with grass. I mean, yeah, that's 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 what the plains are, right? Prairies and plains are just uh grassy deserts. Alright, we got a couple in Bougerba. Mila in Low Town. Okay. Definitely feels like it this week. Yeah, it's it's, it's pretty it's pretty sizably hot out there. It's like thirty to thirty-five on any day. I don't know. I feel like that week I spent down in Texas has really recontextualized everything for me. Like, of course I go outside and it's like, ugh, it's hot, why is it gotta be so hot? But it's like, I, I know, I hear the word, that the, the number 30, and it's like, oh, that's not so bad. And, you know, I went through a solid week of 40 plus, so whatever. But then I get out in the sun, and it's like, oh, it's hot. And it makes me wonder whether it's like a different kind of heat. Cairnsythe waterway. Like, you know, you know how there's like humid heat and dry heat, right? So I wonder if that's the difference. That like Texas is very, very dry heat and here it's like a little bit more humid because we got the rains and then you know you got like the latitude and longitude so it's like the sun's at a different angle or something i don't know it's just it's whack i think about it a lot and i know it doesn't really mean anything but i like to like compare stuff like that and it's really hard to <laughs> Here in the Netherlands, the humidity made it cool. What, in Hunter? In it, Hunter. Summer. See, when I was living in Japan, it was pretty damn humid. And I found... It didn't... I don't think it made it hotter. Like, I think you might be right that it made it a little bit cooler, but... It made you sweat a lot more, so it made you feel like it was hotter or something like that. It's a very heavy heat. So maybe that's what it is. If I remember correctly, we gotta get an item up in here. It's 
Got our D kitten here for the fear of the ghost. The more D comes, the more D likes it. Kind of cozy. <laughs> what a nice guy. Letter on the table. I know my days grow short. I regret only that I shall not have the opportunity to return that item and trust it to me all these many years. This is important. Take notes. I divided it into four pieces in hopes this might prevent it falling easily into searching hands. I have enclosed the whereabouts of one of the four in the event its rightful owner should come seeking to recover it. Stop the water's flow, then loose it once more. East, southeast, east, southwest, southeast. Pray that it rests there undisturbed. So this is a this is like the start of the longest, most convoluted side quest in this video game. And which we gotta do four things. And then go to a place, and go to a place and kill a boss, and then go to a place and kill a boss. <laughs> So we got east, southeast, east, southwest, southeast. We'll need to remember that. We can't do it just yet. But those are passcode. We'll need to remember. Okay. Let's see. I suppose I will head to Brugere, but. Right, the funny snake and the turtle. Uh, swim. Got anything for us, Yungri? Probably not, but I can hope. No. Curious to see just how long all this will take me. Cause we need to do all the hunts. Probably up until the big dragon in uh Mount Bromesis is probably where we'll start to have troubles. If not, then the one in the Feywood. So that's like almost all the hunts. <laughs> and we've done almost none of them. Just 20 more minutes, yeah. It's always just 20 more minutes. Something, something small ant. It's our first time on uh, an airship in this playthrough. Wowee. go up onto the top just to check for the very very small chance of an item here this is uh this is some deep final fantasy knowledge but right here sometimes a chest will spawn and it is completely invisible and if your rng is just right it gives you the best item in the game the best weapon One more minutes. Today's been slow. I wonder if those two goes. Do, do, do those two go together? I mean, twenty minutes left in your shift. <laughs> Hope things pick up a little bit for you. Mm, it won't waste that much money. All right. No sign, Grat. Let's get going. There is also a little bit of a side quest here. It doesn't matter too much, but I do always go for it. That's right here. What is it you want? You're in the middle of a personal, rather important conversation. Get lost, why don't you? Randy, he's a passenger. Mind your tongue. 
I apologize for my companion's behavior. We have cabins available, if you'd like to rest until we make port. Would you like me to show you to a cabin? So you can just, like, ignore it. Just like, okay, I don't care about this this old man. But, oh yeah, do side quest. Damn you, you jinxed it. Oh, do you not want it to go fast? <laughs> I'm sorry. Good luck. Drink lots. Be safe. Who's this Randy? No one, truly. Just a gentleman. And I use the term loosely. Who does not know when enough is enough. Enough is enough? Ha! <laughs> Will you listen to her? And I tell you, you defy all reason. What sane woman could decline a proposal of marriage from a man of my birth, stature, incomes, and obvious charms? Can your mother really mean all that to you? I told you a thousand times, you must forget these people back in old Arcades. Forget my own mother, the mother who raised my sister single-handedly after my father died in the war. I would never marry a person like you. How many times must I tell you? seem to share your sister's dislike of the noble house Lurchelle, but what grudge could you possibly harbor against us? You and your brothers are among the most vulgar men I've ever met, and I've known many vulgars. Using your father to find out where we work. Speaking of work, I'd better get back to it. If you'd kindly take your leave, I've a proper passenger to attend to. Yes, yes, your passengers. An idea comes to mind. Might I interest you in a game of sorts? What manner of game? Last year, for your mother's name day, you and your sisters each sent her a gift you'd found along your routes to work. Yes. What of it? This year, I propose that you each gather a flower for your mother. And uh, this boy here informs each of your sisters of the arrangement. If you can deliver the message to every one of them, my brothers and I will abandon all hope of marriage to you and your sisters. Absurd. Expect a perfect stranger to willingly go from airship to airship delivering this message of yours? She has a point. Six ships. Six sisters. Quite a lot of work for someone we don't know. Better to forget the whole business, and me. I'll begin making the necessary preparations for our wedding. Sorry I've gotten you involved with this, sir. If you do see any of my sisters on the other airships, perhaps we could show them a letter from me. The chief stewards, like myself. Can't remember the last time I had more fun. Already visions of you and your sisters joining the noble house Lachelle fills my mind. So, so somehow, a perfect line of, of six sextuplets all working the same job, all being hit on by six septuplets of a royal family. <laughs> and for some reason, us telling them about an arrangement for their mother's birthday is going gonna, is gonna to stop them from, from forcing them into an arranged marriage. It's like... I don't know, it's, it's probably one of the more tedious side quests in this game, and you don't really get anything out of it. But I always I always do my best to do it, because it's not too hard. Someone spilled a soda on a machine, you want to sit here and watch Final Fantasy XII? We'll just suck the soda up and come back on over here, man. Alright, what do we got? We've already done that one. We talked to Pilika. Alright. I know where he is. At least I believe I remember where he is. I always kinda get lost in Bujerba. If you ask me to draw out the maps of this video game. I think I could do it pretty okay, but Bujerba is where I would struggle. Because it's like... Like, it makes sense, right? Like, it's just a bunch of left and rights. But this room in the bottom always trips me up. 
Because I feel like... I don't know. It, just the relation between it and these two rooms always confuses me. Like, I always think if I go through this bottom entrance into the bottom room, I'll be in that little V in the top right that leads here. Well, that's not true. Because there's this entire thing in the bottom. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah. doesn't help that you never really need to go over in these rooms. Even though there's a merchant, but I, I honestly could not tell you what he sells. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> there's also an entire other room that I don't remember. I routinely forget it exists. I remember... When this version of the game first came out for PS4, and I went to platinum up, platinum it. There's there's an achievement for going every in every room of the in the game, right? And this is one of the last ones that I ever found. Cause it's just it's just lore, you know. It's just it's pretty. It's all it is. There's people to talk to, but they're all just like saying, "Where the Leviathan that went down in the yard?" Yeah, so it was just you know, talking about going on. Dude, there's a guy down there. What's he doing down there? How do you get down there? Poor guy. <laughs> oh, is she gonna talk about it? No, no, I don't seem to care. He's, he's just sitting there. To get left behind, perhaps. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. We're here for for the hunts. We just got the one from that funny Moogle, which is he found a he found a pet turtle, and did a uh, ran away from home. He couldn't find it, and then some days later, there was there was tellings of a a monster in the mines. It's a big old turtle. It's like three meters tall and rampaging. And he's like, it, it couldn't be, but I must know. So he's hired us to go and, and check up on it. And if it is the guy to, to kill him in his name. And there's another hunt in here that we got a long, long time ago. We actually attempted when we first got, uh, came here, like, probably 20 hours of gameplay ago. <laughs> we got it down to like 10% health and ended up dying. Or nearly dying. I had to run away. Because it was just too much damage, too little experience, not enough healing. This guy. Look at that, we kill him in four hits now. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of this on stream. On this stream in particular. Because we did skip a whole schwack of low level hunts. But soon enough they'll start getting harder. And we'll have to actually think a little bit. By the end of stream, we're going to be in, like, you know, ten minute long battles where I'm constantly fighting to stay alive. Because some of these, some of the hunts in this game are actually kind of hard. Just, just kind of normally, but when you've got a team with the awful makeup like we've got, it, uh, it don't quite... Don't quite go well. But we should be able to kill all the hunts. I think with the with the base restrictions we've got on this run, we should be able to make it to Yasma. That is that is my my hope and my belief. I 
like last time we played this on stream. I don't know if any any y'all in chat right now we we're, we're there for it. Um I was taking suggestions from chat about more restrictions to put on the game. Like for this run we did we did random jobs and only one job. And that's all we did. So it just kinda made it a little bit interesting. But that, that was what I started with in my last run. And then we added more and more things as people could think of them. And eventually by the end of the game it was like... Uh, I wasn't allowed to have a rise gambit. So I couldn't just like... res people as soon as they die. But at this point I've actually gotten so used to it that I don't use one anymore. And... Uh, we had it so I could only have two party members at a time instead of three, which was the big kicker, honestly. It's what made a lot of the endgame bosses impossible. Uh, we had random jobs, of course. Uh, no Vaughn, as usual. Just the whole schwack of things. A lot of little things around along the way, too. And it, it got to the point where... I made it all the way to, to Zodiac, which is, is the hardest Esper in the game. And I just could not, I could not handle the torment it was to beat that boss. I think it was possible, but it really just came down to RNG as to whether he would instantly kill me. <laughs> so you're going to ask him to any news on that random community night poll? I don't know what you mean by random, but... Uh, I haven't looked at it. I'm pretty sure it ended up being people wanted to do a separate game. I think it ended up being once a month. If you do exclamation point poll, you can see. I haven't closed the polls or anything, but they're effectively at the point where I'm done with them. Though I think I'll keep the game one running, because I think you can edit your, your uh, selections on that one. And so I could add more games as time goes on. Just have a master list. But yeah, I, I intend to get that going next month. I think. I think that's the plan is we'll start the the four week cycle in August. I'm thinking maybe do like the first week of each month we do like a Gardic or a Jackbox or something. And the rest can be juice. Save you. I don't know how to save you, Birch. I'm sorry. I would call in a bomb threat or something, but um, that's long distance. <laughs> I don't have long distance minutes. Sounds rad. Hell yeah. Yeah, the way I see it, um, yeah, <laughs> like like we got we got a couple weeks here left in in July. That we'll just be going business as usual, and then I'm having Maya over in early August, and then we'll be starting the cycle after that. So I guess I guess it might be the last week of each month instead of the first week or something like that. But I feel like that's a, that's a good time when she's finally back to just sort of reset the clock and, and, and start a new routine. Now that's probably when we're going to have to start thinking about a new routine anyways because of school starting back up, people having different availabilities and all that. Look, his little turtle came back. He saved him. So it turns out the giant turtle that we killed was not his pet. Either that, or we juiced the magic out of it and it came back. Where was the other one? They come in U Lusu Square. Where are you? Oh, way back there.
But yeah, so long story short, as far as, as community nights go, if you want to mark calendars and whatever, we'll probably do Gardic the last Tuesday in August. And then do it every four weeks, whether it's Gardic or, or Jackbox or a Mario Kart or something. I don't know, whatever you guys are feeling. I think we'll, we'll probably just do Gardic this time. And maybe run a poll. Take take uh, ideas as to other games that we could do. Let's see. Scribbleo, Scribbleo could be good. Yeah. Just do an art night, do a scoopy aisle or an aegio or uh, whatever else. Cheryl and Robin Asty. Sugumu Yahara. Worms would have been good. What do you mean, would have? Dicey since it's Parsec. Yeah, see, I think the thing about that is... Yeah, Parsec is the big thing. Because you guys do need to actually take control of my computer. Which is a little scary to be doing with, with everyone. And... It's also just got, like, a small limit, right? Like, you play Gardic or you play Jackbox or something. You know, you got, like, six, seven plus players that you can hop in, so don't gotta worry so much about inclusion. I mean, all things said and done, we play Orange Juice and that's four players, so really it doesn't make too much of a difference if we have a four player game, but it definitely would be best to have it, because as, as it being a monthly thing rather than a weekly thing, we'd want to include as many people as possible as often as possible. Not to say like 100% no on four player games but yeah golf is another good one yeah i haven't played that in a while i've, I've been looking I, I occasionally will will gaze upon my my steam library's like news tab and see that uh golf gets updates and then i see all the, the wacky new courses that they've added and it's like what in the hell what happened to Twilight? Why is it now like, yeah, you're at a bouncy castle or like a war zone? <laughs> like, huh? Okay, what do we want to do? I think I'll head for Giza and do whichever one is up. The rains. Danya and Sedin. And while we're at it, we'll stop by this guy. Uh, we don't actually have to take that flight. We've done that flight already. Wait, can we not do the personal flights yet? So normally there's a person here. Isn't there? Or maybe it's this one. Have we not unlocked the straw yet? We might have to actually return to Balfenheim to be able to do that. God damn. I guess we're using crystals. <laughs> Maybe four years since he last played golf. God damn. It's been, it's been a hot minute. That would have been back when RWCW was uh, more alive. I've played it a couple times since. I've done, I've done a couple collabs, or maybe just one collab. And played it with a couple friends once or twice here or there. I will do this first. But I haven't played it near as extensively as I used. Like, we used to do that, like, weekly almost. <laughs> to the point where I could pull out a lot of random one ones Not anymore. I had a chance to play golf with Freya some time ago. 
didn't have it installed. Oof. Was that just uh, just like a celebration stream, like just playing it with chat? Let's see, is it you? You know what? No. Oh, it's for it's for this lady, isn't it? Danya, is that it? Yeah. Think so. Yeah. It's definitely one of those games. It's good to always have installed. If you can, if you can swing it, because uh, it's a it's a very very spur of the moment game, and a lot of people do use it as a party game. Maybe just a regular community thing. Ah, oh, I see. All right, so we're hunting a cluckatrice, which is a. Uh, like a cockatrice, but it's more like a chicken. And uh, if I remember correctly, it's a very shy creature. I believe that's what the lady tells you. And uh, it won't spawn unless we get rid of all these enemies. And I believe it's also afraid of men, so you need a party of women to make it spawn. I don't know. I don't know if that's ever like expressly explained. I think actually, hold up. I seem to remember you, you get a you get hints by talking to the the cockatrices. Is that is that true? Look, I need I need I need to check my I need a lore check. Four cockatrices are scared out the feathers. Some geese's north bank southeast of the village. Its nest must be nearby. Southeast. Right, because Ravenous is to the north. Shy is when people approach. Must be a way to draw it out, but I haven't a clue. Speak with the children if you haven't already. It's the children that tell you. Are you sure? I've had quite enough. It's getting to the point where one can't even sleep at night. What with the infernal racket they're making. Some right dodgy birds have taken up the east end of the plains. They don't seem like I know just who the plains they are. And what's worse, they write sneaky swords. Can hardly tell where they are, where they've been. Never mind where they're going. I guess they're just. We just get to. Need to hear some stressed cockatrices. Nothing but cheap, 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 more than night and day. It might be the kids say that. Only the girls have seen it or something. Saw me a ball of yellow bird out there on the plains. Looked like a big chick. Sitting there, the sun itself it was so cute. Went to try and touch it, but a great big bird came out of nowhere. I wasn't gonna hurt it, honest. I think maybe it's its mama. Uh, he doesn't know anything about it. Isn't just that kid? That's my chin. I've never read that line. This is just that girl. <laughs> Could have sworn there was some sort of hint they needed a female party to do it. Wait, is it spawned? I think they've spawned. No, never mind. There was nothing that spawned over there because I guess we'd killed them. You surprised me. Should spawn now. Yeah, there they are. Just a little baby. And the mom. We just killed the whole family. Wow.
Kharin has become piss. What's this? What's this? Let me see. Oh my god. That's some very green looking piss. <laughs> or is it yellow? I don't know. It looks green to me. It's like she's been dropped into a vat of piss. She's very shocked about it. P. Be a buddy in the corner today. Green pisses, or you like to call it Mountain Dew? Pretty much the same thing. I think being dropped into a vat of Dr. Pepper would be just about as bad as being dropped into a vat of piss. So, it's fair. Well, it just comes down to whether you like it warm or cold. But I feel like the carbonation of the doctor, or the, not the doctor, the, uh, the Mountain Dew it would hurt. I wouldn't want to. guy's afraid of a big old bird in the sand sea. He's a nice guy. Despite being an Imperial, he, he fears for the people of Ravanaster. Because there's a big old bird in the sand sea that could kill us all. So instead, we will kill it for him. Because he cannot leave his post. Because he's a good guy. It's time to, to check in with our bunny friend that we've neglected for like half the game. I forget what we told her to do so far. Hello, have you come for another visit? Little has changed for me. I've seen much of the city, though I still have made my few friends. I am no closer to resume. Let me try that again. Little has changed for me. I've seen much of the city, though I still have made few friends, and I'm no closer to realizing my goal. I've not spoken to this, uh, of this to you before, but I came to Ravanaster to become more like my sister. She'd grown tired of our life of isolation. Long ago she left. Only later did I hear rumors she had come here. All this time, my sister had been making her way through the world while I lived in the sheltered peace of the wood. I would be as she is. Do you think it possible? So of course she's talking about Fran. Our funny bunny lady. She wants to be like Fran. I don't know your sister. That's like the, the most rude response. Like she's she's not implying you know her sister. I think it's just put your mind to it. You know, maybe if you want to be like her, just be like her. Do it. You are right. Time spent lingering in doubt is time wasted. If I'm going to be like my sister, I must work hard at this. She and I possess very different talents. What if I had made the wrong choice? Poor lady. I've always liked this, this side quest here. Because it's very inconsequential, right? Like, not a whole lot comes out of it. There's no real consequence. Aside from, I think you get a better item at the end of it if you do the right selections. But it, it adds a nice foil to Fran. Because Fran, our funny bunny girl, right? Uh, left the wood uh, what, 50 years ago? And this person has just left now. But the difference is, is Fran is clearly a wood warder. As you see, she's got like the armor on. That's why she looks more more militaristic than this girl but this girl is almost certainly a salve maker which is like the other job that the the viera can have where the woodworkers uh or the wood wardens or whatever they are protect the salve makers like 
heal and stuff. And so it's like, she doesn't have the talents to make it out here. I just, just thought it was interesting. I wish they did a little bit more with it. Made it like an actual full side quest instead of just evolving dialogue. But it is what it is. Hey, remember this building? We went in it once at the start of the game. <laughs> and every main boss we fight, he gives us an item. <laughs> How many will we get? Alright, what do you got for a small block? Nothing. Okay. I have to do more hunts to get his good hunts. Alright. Where to? Go to the Sand Sea. That's pretty easy. Geese in the rains you gotta wait for. You got two in Yahara. And that's it. Okay. Well, we'll... Plan to go to Sansi. But first, we'll see if uh, Giza's in the rains yet. The whole rain dry cycle is one mechanic I don't understand in this game. And if you look it up, there's so many different opinions that people have on what makes it happen. So, uh, this area, the one that we were just in actually, where we fought the chickens, is uh, it's clearly a desert, right? But it goes through seasons in this game, where sometimes it's a desert, and other times it's a wetland. Whether it's the rains or the dries. And a lot of people online think if you just go through a certain number of screens and come back, it changes. Some people say it's a certain number of minutes played. Some people say it's a certain number of minutes in in oops in-game time, which you can see here in the bottom right. Some people say it's minutes in real world time. There's there's no real concrete answer, surprisingly. All there is is there this guy. No, there's some guy here who will tell you whether he thinks it's close or not. Like we can tell right now it's in the dries just by the skybox there. I think it's this guy. Yeah. It's called Wither Eye. It's the middle of the dry. So we've got, we've got a bit left till it changes. And we need it to be the rains for our quest. Let's go kill a big old bird. I wonder if I should head to Andromalek while I'm here. Or I guess, no, we need to do that from Osmoon, I think. Never mind. If I remember correctly, at least. We'll wait until we have the hunts in that area. sit here while Pinello kills it for us. Because neither of us can hit it. <laughs> Good fight. Whoa. 
one more down. It's very uncertain. Is it close? No, it's all the way to Ogrienza. I won't bother. I think it's been a while since I did licenses. I wonder if I get Fran. No, there's no way. Need to get her all the way down here. <laughs> get down. We will continue working towards it though. Oh, exposed. That's a good one to have. Wait, we've. Genji armor? Hello? I didn't realize that was in full breaker. It's actually gonna be sweet to have that. That's gonna make Yasma so much easier. Expose Wither and Genji armor already here. God damn. Okay. Future of this run's looking great. God, that's huge. That's the that is the exact Esper I've been looking for. The Asuna and Cleanse for us. I wish I'd looked at that earlier. <laughs> that is great. It's gonna make everything so much better. So now we can have an Asuna Gambit. Oh, what the hell are we doing with Pinello? I don't remember. We're gonna need reverse at some point, so we'll get that. Probably want these down here. Any of these magic we want? Not really. Okay. We'll just go down through the armor until we get the ones we want. We don't really need potency or anything. She's not doing magic damage. We just want the speed. And eventually haste go. It'll be great. Alright. So that was huge. That was exciting. Now we can do... Ally and Yi. Asuna. And I'll get rid of every single debuff we've got to deal with. Aside from stop and Silence and Ash, which Fran have got covered here. Sweet. I'll leave that off for now. Alright. Boring stat moment jumbo out of the way. Let's hand this quest in.
still the dries. We'll see if that happens to change by the time we end this quest in. Actually, could be nice for our build at some point. So we currently have two people who can use shields. And eventually, we're going to have Fran always have decoy. Because she'll be our tank. So the only thing that would hit Ash would be splash magic. So having shell shield would actually be really nice. But that's for the future. Right now, that diamond shield's doing real good for her. Well, that unlocked a lot. Okay. White moose from Sorbet. That's an important one. Ringworm. Balzac. He's down south, right? Yeah. Merlith, that's the tavern master. Feral retriever. Hymns on promises. Bit of a ways out. Warpal bunny and Ariet. Classic. And Amazon Burrow. Okay. That gives us a lot more to do. Hey, Tavern Master. Yeah, you want me to kill a snake and steal its juice so you can make wine? Damn. And desert none from the Wester Sand. It's another one of those hunts that's kind of tough to find at times. I seem to remember it's one where you just kind of have to stand around for a long time. So, hopefully we find it quickly. First, we will go to Sorbet. Just by the aerodrome, I think. He's in a sticky situation. This is, this is, this is one of the most silly quests, I think. The, the little Moogle guy, right? He was, he was, he was doing a... He was doing a side quest of his own. He was fixing up a key for old Dallin, the funny old guy that lives underground. And as as payment, old Dallin gave him a big old thing of white pudding. And he got the key fixed and he decided to eat his pudding when he tripped. And, and the pudding and the key both fell down a drain and ended up in the series, and now we need to find the key for him. <laughs> don't want to don't want to do that one yet, though, because there's another quest in the same area. Although I seem to remember it's from Mont Blanc. I wonder if we can't get it just now. We shall see.
No, we did rank up. Does that mean he's got anything? Nope, just the gill snapper. Another one that we need the reins for. So we gotta go... There, is this... I think this is reins. I know it has to be rains to fight the thing, but I forget if we have to talk to the person in the rain so that it dries. Yeah, they're in the rains. Okay. We'll do a couple other side quests first, then, before we do the one in the sewers. What have we got? Talk to Balzac. So we could do this one. Wait patiently till it shows itself. I suppose we can talk to Balzac later. Because Balzac is near where we go to enter the series. So. Routing. I'm doing speedrun routing. Wait, can I start this thing yet? Hear my words. I've been sent from Arcadia to study the sandstorms, but the storm's violence makes such study impossible. To the place in the desert at the end of a long trail that winds through, winds through the north. Mayhap you know it. That is the site of my study. Before the wrath of such a storm, I can do nothing. This is why I seek help. Will you help me? Thank you, my friend. I've made no progress on my own. I'd like you to start by gathering information while within Rabanastri. My own inquiries have yielded little. There's one man who knows more than he will say. He sits atop the fountain in the plaza. He does not care for the Empire, so you'll tell me nothing. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'll be waiting to hear what you find. Wow, would you look at that? Another side quest! It's one of the harder ones. You actually have to, like, talk and listen. It's crazy, I know. Actually listening in a video game. Reading dialogue and stuff. But we'll do that when we come back. So I believe we do actually have to at one point. It's an end type. Might be able to kill it, actually. What level are you, buddy? 45? It's a little scary. I'll try. We might be strong enough to take these on now. Might be good to... Wait, huh? Do not have a license for shell shield? Oh, that's the shell shield. Okay, guess we can't. Do we have anti silence? No. Whatever. I'm going to shot. If not, we can solo this if we have to. Yeah. 
Oh wait, he's got Pierce. Never mind. So the scary things about these guys, right? As you notice, he cost uh, sleep ga on us earlier. But Ash never woke up. She just died. And that's because these enemies only use magic. And magic can't wake you up from sleep. So the only way to get rid of sleep ga in this case is to just let it wear off. Or to assume it, of course. can't do when you're silenced. Do we have something to stop sleep, I wonder? We do. But you... You don't have enough. Can you get the Nishijin belt, please? Yes. will always have damage once we wake it up. Yeah. Now I should be able to slowly do it. It's gonna keep silencing. Oh, I used that on Fran. He's going to keep forcibly silencing Ash because she keeps using magic. And as long as we can keep that off, we should be okay. So the big thing to worry about here is to not get everyone slept. Because that is the worst fate. But if we keep Penella ranged way over there, and Ash way over here, we should be fine. Main issue is if we go too far away, we won't automatically heal her. <laughs> Why is Fran Thunder mute? Hello? What do I have her equipped with? <laughs> oh shit, I didn't see the sleep coming. Alright, we need to get Ash back in the game quick. steal from this thing. Perfect. Yes. Ooh, just barely didn't get Kirok out there. Ooh, he's starting to hit hard. <laughs> Yikers. We're okay with Fran being dead. He's using fear, which is great. Oh, no, he silenced me. Thought he was using fear. Now might be able to kill him before he does anything.
hopefully. Pop a couple potions just in case. Are you using fire? I'll go. Ooh, okay. Fran wasn't in yet. Oh, Penelope killed herself. God damn. That's not good. Bring Penelope back. It's got like no health left, man. Oh, no. Okay. Is Fran. Fran didn't die from that? Hello? Bosh. Phoenix Downs. Ash. How uh, we. Hope we get an Evanescence out. Oh, please. No, it hit her. That's not good. Alright. Penel vs. the world. This might be doable. We got, we got three, four, five of them out there. We're probably okay. Thankfully, with only one character, we only need to press one button. So we should have two bars left. One bar left. Oh my god, the mischarges. Except for we're only getting intercession with the... <laughs> I get to see this song and dance over and over. <laughs> I got it. Oh, my, oh my god. It's all one bar. <laughs> I got it. You got it, Pinello. You got it. Hopefully that's enough. I don't think that gives us much. It's cataclysm. You don't see that every day. I mean, I think that's the same element he is. That's still enough? Okay. Alright. Just a silence day. Be, that might be some indication as to why I've been afraid of those funny balls this entire video game. Because uh, they're kind of kind of hard. <laughs> they're kind of hard to fight. And also, before they were like 40 levels higher than me, so that also is uh, is also a little scary. Now that they're my they're my level. I'm gonna start trying to fight him when I see them. So I believe you have to kill two of each? Let me check. Complete the bestiary. Yeah. See, no man play is here. But you see it says we need one. That's because if you if you fight enough of them, you get more pages of lore on them. Should tell you what you can get from them and also some other cool things about them. Which is cool. I really like how they do it. But it is a bit of a of a pain for big enemies like that. Especially when they're rare. Like that one only spawns in a sandstorm. Which thankfully, at this point in the game. We basically have infinite of because we haven't done the sandstorm side quest, but other ones are a little less fortunate. Right. 
this it up here? No, it's not. Where is this? Am I dumb? There's a whole other area to the south, and I forget how to get to it. Yeah, I know Giza will, but... So it's sort of connected here, too. Might be north as well. A little hard to tell in the sandstorm. Because you don't really spend much time in this area. So my map knowledge is a little, a little lacking, perhaps. This is actually a uh, completely optional area. You never actually have to come into this area. The only is there's one room in this place that is, is story important, and that's this one right here. Because you land here in your airship, and then you go out this way. <laughs> hello, gamers. Hello, Mozzie. How you doing? Barely gonna work. I killed you. Thanks. Hopefully, hopefully you can relax once you get home. Yeah, right, how y'all be doing? I am just fine. Thank you for asking. I am sleepy. But we're managing. Oh yeah, another one of these. I guess we're, uh... Doing this again. Earth crystal. Waste. Sleep got right off the bat. That's rude. But you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a little bit of gambits. We got extras on Pinello. We'll have her D sleep. She'll have a little kiss to Ash. That should largely automate this fight. Flippy! Flippy thirty one milk McBone two P gang Flippy thirty one milk P gang. <laughs> Hey, yo, Saz, welcome on in. Thank you so much for that recent sight. I really appreciate it. His gang, indeed. Oh, I'm perishing. That's not good. I didn't realize I was running out of mana. Yeah, how you doing, Saz? I don't want to be having to charge during all this. Should not. We'll get to the root of the cause and turn off our scene again, but for now, we don't need it. Hopefully he doesn't instant kill us here. It's a very nasty habit of doing that. I think we might be 
be okay though. Nice. Righto. I don't need to kill any more of those guys. Alright. We do, however, need to kill one of these guys. Cave, here it is. That's what we're looking for. Should probably pop our bangle back on. So I believe there's lots of traps down here. It's another weird point in the game that nobody ever really goes to. Cause like this cave system has has multiple areas to it because it connects three different areas in the game. And so it has sort of three different level ranges within it. And all of it is optional. There's never a reason to be down here for the main story. So a lot of the times you just kind of forget about it until you go back to do hunts like this. And this area in particular is the lowest level area of it because it comes right out of that first desert, right? It's a very forgettable zone. But the music bangs. I believe all we gotta do is kill all the enemies in there and then walk around a little bit and eventually the boss will spawn. Uh, the guy who told us to get it said he came here. He searched high and low. He knows it's here, but he couldn't find it. So Dark Age hate give you the full license for it. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, it is nice to have the freedom of the full license board. I feel like it would be nice to have a toggle between the two. Like, I don't mind having the license board be fragmented like this. Because it's sort of limits what you can do so so it makes it makes it a little bit easier to challenge yourself like i'm only doing one jobs so like only one person is really able to heal and that's ash and and only one person really does helpful magic and that's vanilla right so like it makes it a little bit more challenging at times but even then the game is is pretty dang easy to just kind of brute force your way through so I feel like it's not quite limiting enough, so there really ought to be an option to just give the other people who want the whole license board what they want, right? You may as well just be playing with the whole license board and just not getting off. <laughs> yeah. I don't really have an opinion either way of, of what's like the, the best way to play it. Like, as, as a kid, playing through the, the original PS2 version, I was certainly one to like fill out the entire license board on every character. Everyone able to use, you know, heavy armor and and a shield and cast every magic in the game. There you are. So so no shade to anyone who's who's into that. But at the same time, I like I like being able to fulfill roles and to 
challenge myself a little bit and, and all that. Oh my god. This thing's actually kind of hurting. Starting to get into the higher level hunts. Although I think this was one of the five stars, so that makes sense. This game is really weird about how it gives you hunts. Because they're all ranked on like a, a one to seven scale. I think eight is for the last one, but anyways. And right, we've been doing basically the, the easiest hunts in the game so far. These ones are all one, except for maybe two. And then once we completed this uh, bird one, we got all these other ones, which range from three to five all at once. It's really easy to just accidentally hop into one that's way too hard. Clubs you killed me in the jinx of a lifetime. I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't know what you wanted. <laughs> I feel like it's not a jinx if what I said happened, right? It's a jinx if, if you if you hope for the opposite and then you don't get it, right? If I had said, oh, I, I sure hope it stays slow for you and then it got fast, then I jinxed it. But I said, I hope it picks up so you can not be so bored because that's what I would be thinking in that moment. But either way, I'm sorry. Welcome back. If abusing, abusing the uh, word that I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Honestly, I don't use it all that much. I think it's a really interesting mechanic. But I've never been one to really use it. It's a really cool cool idea, though. Like, the people who originally thought of it back in the day are real smart. Oh, this is the higher level area, isn't it? Yeah. For those of y'all don't know, the, the Niho... Niho Paolawa, or whatever it is, I don't know how you say it, uh, is an item that when you when you equip it on a person, all the items you use have the opposite effect. So if you were to use a potion on an enemy, it would hurt them instead of heal them. Or if you were to use an item that gets rid of blind on an enemy, it would blind them. And there exists uh, an item in this game called a Remedy, which will heal most ailments, and depending on what license you have, can heal just about every single ailment in the game. So depending on which of those licenses you have depends on which debuff you give the enemy. So if you if you have the, the Niho on the character with every single uh, different Remedy lore, you can you can use it on an enemy and give them every single debuff in the game. <laughs> it's uh, it's busted. It's a very it's a very niche strat, which is really useful for some of the really hard bosses in the game. But it relies on having a lot of items. Maybe it'll something I'll, be, I'll use near the end. You know, like Ultima, Zodiac. Issue with some of those is they have immunity to a lot of debuffs. Next ride, right, Rich. Shouldn't have left your subordinate alone. Oh, is that why it went so crazy near the end? You know, you gotta get that riding crop out, man. Can't leave them alone. You gotta teach them a thing or two. Rip the cable straight out of a printer. Yikes. That's a, that's a rookie move. Surprisingly a common move though. Like uh I work for 
a, I work in a math and computer science department, right? And so everyone there should have some sort of understanding of computers. And everyone who works there is either uh, is, is super, super good with them or is a student who is, you know, learning computer science, right? And yet you see the stupidest stuff at my job. Like, someone complained to me that the internet in their room wasn't working and that it should be something with the computer because the computer next to them had internet just fine. And it turned out that the person in that room was doing some sort of weird troubleshooting on their own and ended up plugging, unplugging the ethernet cable from their computer long ago. And then, then, it, then they called in like, hey, I don't have an ethernet, can you, get, can you come give me one? And so they got a new ethernet cable and it worked fine. But then at some point they did it again and they plugged their old ethernet that was still in the router back into the router again and made a loop. So all of the internet just stopped working. <laughs> and it's like, huh? How do you... I don't... I don't know. I don't have words. And just the number of ethernet cables I see plugged into computers with the little tab ripped off because nobody presses them in when they pull it out is just sad. These things happen all the time. Yeah. I made it bad as there's $1,500 in the machine. God damn. Just smack the thing open like a pinata at that point, honestly. Also, there's a boss here. There's an optional boss here. I was considering doing it earlier in the story, but I think we would have perished instantly. He's a cool guy. There's my boy, Andromalek. So, this guy's flying, which is going to be the tough bit. Spinello's going to have to focus. He also spawns a bunch of undead guys, so I can't be having Ash spam dark. She will have to do something else. Could do Blissara, see how much that does. 2k, probably not worth it. Thankfully it looks like he's pretty weak. We already did a lot of damage to him. Boss can get really hard really quick, though. If you're not high enough level to be killing those zombies real quick, they do start to to build up. And they put all sorts of nasty debuffs on you. I think I've got sap right now, which I think I might just ignore. You know what? We might just make this quick. So he's gonna be using his ultimate soon, and we don't want that. Oh, never mind, he used it right there. <laughs> I imagine we're probably gonna come at you like you were flint lock looked tomorrow. Boy. Hopefully they understand. Alright, good thing we stopped that in time, because Fran has been stopped. So we'll unstop her. Dramalek is now immune to physical damage. Is he also immune to magic? I think that's what that said. Blizzara. Yeah, he's immune. Guys. 
So we just gotta wait for a little bit. No longer mean to both. Okay. Nice. This doesn't kill, which doesn't. Get her. Stop bleeding me, man. It's very rude. You know, honestly, we probably don't need to do this. I feel like it might even go faster to kill them without this. But eventually we're going to have to grind out more of these to get all of the convergences at the end. So we still haven't got Black Hole. Despite, I'm pretty sure last stream we did enough to get it. I just got the Arc one instead. Two threes. And we've done at least three twos now. And one one, I think. We need three of all three. So we get another three. That'd be lovely. And then if we focus ones, maybe we can do it. Maybe. Now that I think about it, it might actually be four. I might be why we didn't get black hole. I got it. We've certainly got enough one or enough twos now. So I want to focus on ones and threes if we can. Three, strong. good. We've got one or two. We have one on Pinello and the rest are empty. Another three. Okay, that's four threes. And at least four twos. We just need to spam ones. This could be it. If we can get a couple mists. And a little bit of luck. Is our third three? This might be our third three now I'm thinking about it, because this is the first time we've seen this. I must endure. I could have sworn we had more. Okay. Well that's not a black hole. But it could be holy. So we definitely got three of each. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's a uh, that's gonna be overkill. <laughs> Quite a bit. Another Esper. Andromelic the Wrath. What does Wrath even mean? That's a word you don't hear very often. Never get tired of the music in this game? Honestly. Thanks for the Hydra. Alright, Andromelech, what do you do for us? 
Soul Eater, we don't need. Paddle War, we like that. Oh, hold on. What the hell? Watch can get Kiradra? <laughs> I'm gonna get that right now, so we don't accidentally miss that. Not that we'll ever use Bosh, but... Um, I drama like got nothing there. It's nothing there. Hmm? Cura Rays. Cura Rays is pretty good. I think that's better than that. Having two people able to raise is huge. Let's see. The only other thing we might want to get on Pinello is those, I think. Yeah. We don't need the swords. Having Adeline Shear will be nice for Yasmat. I think we get one more summon on here. Or is it just two? I forget. I suppose. We'll see. Yeah. This is a good place to just sit around and fire men. These zombies just kind of keep coming and you can steal their flesh which sells for a pretty decent penny. Alright, what are we dealing with? Level 38 still? Nice. might be leading us to Sansi if I remember correctly. You got her Osmond planes. I think Osmond's the one where you gotta kick rocks over. Probably get rid of Fran's cure yeah, but in place of Pinello's cure, honestly. I think I might go about that. I what are we gonna do? Still like less than seventy. She's not using her mana too much, so. That was the idea with having Fran do it, because she doesn't use her mana at all. But I think eventually what we'll do with man with uh, Fran's mana is have her just kind of always at full so we can siphon her instead of having to charge. Could also just give you the magic site.
I just keep teleporting. I keep missing. Teleporting is honestly the worst mechanic in this game. Like you saw just there, I ran up to him and tried to steal from him. But he saw me coming, right? So he like turned to start attacking me. And those guys don't walk, they just teleport. So as soon as I got within range, he teleported to turn and start attacking me. And I stole while he was teleporting. So it just ate my action and uh, did nothing. Which is good. I love to see it. I wasn't actually planning to do this right now, but since we happened to find ourselves in Osmone, we get the quests we got in Jihara. So I think, like I normally try to get every quest in an area before, like to, to unlock all of them before I go to an area. Just to cut out as much back and forth as we can, but I think you actually have to finish these ones. For the last one you to spawn. So I don't mind coming here right now. I gotta see Sugemu and the Elder, I believe. Sugemu. Alright, the cockatrice is here. Hello, sure is me name and pecking at stuff's me game. Haha. <laughs> Not to worry. I ain't gonna peck you. Just having a laugh, innit? Me? I live with the nobats back in Giza. Normally, I mean. I got it into me to add up and find out how the other have to live. So I thought I'd come here. Didn't realize how far it was. But I got here in the end. I met a load of them nice scarifs. Or what about the masks, eh? Wish I had them. He's a nice guy. And everyone here is 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 amazed that a cockatrice has arrived here. And it's, it's a whole side quest, so you gotta get the funny feather so you can talk to them. But we already got it, thankfully. Bird came from Giza. Quite a journey. And we gotta tell the great chief. We got a visitor from Giza. Who would have thunk it's a bird? Oi, great chief. Visitor from Giza. I will not do me to let her leave empty handed. I'm quite indebted to them there. Ask a favor of you to deliver a guest to me and pass on her regards to Brunoa. Gotcha, homie. Is this Sugumi? Is that what we need? Yes. Eastern edge in the shred. I think I remember what to do for that one. Other person must be the guy standing next to this guy. Seeks tab. The most dangerous foe. He's one shaft. Gotcha. I always find it funny when you're when you're talking to the quest givers in this game and they're like, This is a fearsome beast. If you fear for your life, do not go. And then we go to it and we kill it in like five minutes. I also just love how the cockatrice is talking. This game is so dumb. 
Eh? A present? From the great chief himself? For me, little old Shuri? You're having a laugh, ain't you? Eh? You're serious? Blimey. What a guy. Alright, give him the gift. Now, Shuri, you can return to Giza with your gift. I'm sure your family waits for you. There you go. He just, he just gives us a dagger. Not that we'll ever need it. Put down a cheeky save. We'll go get those two hunts done. I really like the Chocobo theme in this game. It's a, it's a cry in shame that you don't get to hear it very often. At least I don't get to hear it very often because I never use them. <laughs> this is the only area I will. And that's because you have to. Alright, we needed to be in phase one shaft, which is right there. Nice. Is this, is this the mine with Zolera or is it the other one? Can I open you? I can. So it must be the other one. I'll check here just to be, just to be sure. Togo theme kind of goes hard, honestly. I just like the oboe. I'm a, I am a sucker for good lead oboe. Okay, can't do this. It must be the uh, Barheim Passage that I'm thinking of. A bunch of slimes. If you got any slime enjoyers, please look away. All right, slime enjoyers, you can look back now. should be over here. If I remember correctly. Or a pudding guy anyway. Oh, those guys were named Jelly, so I think you're safe. Okay, it looks like we're over leveled for him, thankfully. I'm just healing him to death. Can we do it without a single doom? That was, that was the, the hunt that that guy was like, this is, I, I will not lie, this is sending you to your certain death. Be careful. If you fear, leave now. As, no, he's dead. <laughs> Slime spawn again? I forget. Too powerful, yeah. Or he's too gamer.
I'm honestly a little bit surprised that that one went so easy. Like I was saying before, they really do, at this point in the hunt, just kind of throw a bunch of different leveled ones at you. So I always forget which ones are actually going to be hard. Another hunt here. Gotta kill a big ol' beastie. But he despises the woos to these enemies. So we gotta kill them. We gotta do a little bit of genocide. And then eventually he'll come out. Or am I thinking of a different one? I forget. I know there's something where you have to kill all the wolves. It might be for a rare game. We'll see which one spawns. I think it's the hunt, though. I think the rare game is just you usually run into it by the time it spawns. There he is. Couldn't steal, man. This man has tight pockets. Stole a potion. Let's go. I'm surprised we didn't see the rare game, though. I wonder if I. Rezone one more time. No? No gator. Oh well. I'm not worrying too much about filling out the bestiary just yet. I'm more of taking advantage of it when I see it like this. That guy was a friend, but we had to kill him for the bestiary. <laughs> I also need to kill these guys, because we always run right past them. So may as well while we're here. This was a posture check. Oh wait, I can't ride you. Forgot. I actually have to walk through the Osmo plane? What the hell? I actually kinda need that posture check. I've been I've been slacking so far. So you move my neck around? Oh that's a separate thing. My neck is just not good. I think I I just don't sleep on it, right? It just hurts. Constantly. I try to pop it sometimes. As usually, when, when you see me doing that stream, that's usually me trying to crack my neck. If you listen closely, you might hear it sometimes. <laughs> what is sleeping right, anyways? God, I don't know. I don't know how anyone does it. 
I think the issue for me is is pillows. I can never quite find the right pillow. And then when you do, you wear it thin and it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> but it's like, I don't want to buy a new pillow because if it's too big and fluffy, then it'll just hurt my neck more, right? I just wish there was a tried and true solution. Maybe both the pillows and the mattresses? I mean, it could be. Like, I... I I've been working towards the mattress thing, because I used to... Since I was, like... I want to say, like, 12 until like two years not even two years like a year ago uh, i was sleeping on the same old full mattress so it was like essentially just sleeping on the frame of the bed at that point because it was just so thin and i've i've you know relatively recently you know within the last year i've updated to a fairly decent bed i think it's helped a little bit but it doesn't help my neck But I definitely, I think there is some wisdom to spending a little bit more on a mattress. I think I may have said this before, but my, my grandpa, one of the advice that he gave me long ago, long before he passed, was... Because he, he was a fairly frugal man. I mean, my family is very frugal, but he, he was as well. But he said that you should never cheap out on things that keep you from the ground that was that was his blanket statement of things that you should always spend a little bit more to get a better one so that's like you know shoes and socks right because because stepping on old ass shoes that are 10 bucks they squeak and they hurt is not good so spending a little bit more on that's good socks as well by 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 translation uh, a car which keeps you from the road. You want you want to spend a little bit more on that. Uh, I think I, I like to think that he thought the same about a house, but I don't know. Uh, a mattress is of course another one. Uh, a chair, having a good chair is really important. But just like everything that keeps you from the ground, I always thought was a really interesting blank statement that he always used. And it's, it's very wrong, true. Like, all those things are things that are very important to my life that I feel like he was, he was right. You know, I've, I've lived with cheap things of all of those in my upbringing. And I've sort of learned, at least for most of them, to, to uh, spend a little bit more on them. The one I need to work on is shoes. Because I find it hard to spend a lot on shoes because... They always feel different after you've worn them for a bit, but you can't return them after you've worn them for a bit. So it's like, I don't know. I also just don't know what kind of shoes I like and what are most appropriate. So for most of my life, it's been like Walmart shoes. <laughs> Buying good shoes is so hard, yeah. Didn't have a mattress till this year. God, I never cheap out on a parachute. That does keep you from the ground. That's fair. <laughs> Maybe you had an old mattress when you were a kid. Never told you about the bed too. Had this really light bed frame when you were a kid for your freshly constructed room. Got the mattress too. Looked really old and heavy. Wow. Probably smelly. <laughs> and then, and then, what happened next? Break. Mind flare, mind flare. <laughs> really 
why do we like that, hey? Because it is both its name and its species. Redframe couldn't handle the weight of it and slowly imploded over the course of a few years. God damn. <laughs> Sinking into the oh, that's not that's not comfortable. I I do know what that feels like though. My uh, in my in my youth when I was a young kid, uh, me and three of my brothers shared the same room, so we had we had two bunk beds, and. Over many, many years of us sleeping and jumping in those beds, uh, the bars along the bottom of the bed started to, like, crack in, and some of them fell out, and a lot of them bent, and it was... It got really uncomfy. There was a point where my brother's bed, I think we ended up jumping on it so much that the springs stuck through the bottom between, like, the, the, the bars of the frame. And so... There was just like certain parts of his bed where you just sink straight through it. <laughs> you miss jumping on your bed. Who's stopping you? Go ahead. Just be sure to have someone nearby to, to call in case you hit your head. I was like, okay, we need to fix your bed. She hired a welder to reinforce your bed frame. I feel like at that point, just get a new one. <laughs> ceiling stopping you. Uh, bounce on your back instead. Okay, what are we doing next? Suppose we can look for the reins and Giza first. I'm quite intent on fixing rather than buying. That's fair. Moms be like that sometimes. Ah, yes. Finally, the rain. Yeah, I mean, if you can fix it for cheaper than buying a new one, by all means. Hi, funny ghost. The ring, the precious ring, gone, eaten, eaten by a crocodile. Slay it for me. The creature near a bridge. That's all he tells us. <laughs> There's a few bridges here. There's one there, one there, one there, a couple down there. I seem to remember being down here. It's a spooky end to it. Actually, it might be here even. Just have to clear the room. A lightning end to it. Get bent. Mardu and tight. That's your name? Mardu? Can see. Swap off as soon as we should be okay. Thundaga. It's 
could be a little dangerous. Oh, never mind, he was. Alright, we should be okay now. Do I have shell? I do. Wait, did Silas go miss? What was that? I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> ah, Suna did not break. You know what, I'm just gonna change Benelos. Hit anyone with that. Sleep is a pretty common one you wanna deal with. Fran. Ran away to go pet the doggy. Savage death. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm on the gamer. It's the dog I was just doing too much. Am I out of Echo Herbs? Brand's not using Echo Herbs. I am. What the hell? We had just enough. God damn. Wait, he didn't get angry. Huh? What the heck, Lois? I can plan. Lois stole our, our echo herbs. Oh, the boss is here. It's gonna spawn me here. But we're all silenced. Do I reckon I can kill this boss without magic? I'll try. Where was it? He's a big boy. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Oh my god. Remember the time we had echo worms? <laughs> I remember. Get a little echo herbs. One munch and you can speak just fine again. So these guys want us to kill a giant turtle. They they fear that they have angered the Rain Lord, which is the Gill Snapper. It's a big old turtle because uh, I believe the boy gave his mother a present. It was a hairpin made out of turtle shell or something like that. And so the big turtle guy's angry and he's making it rain torrentially. And I believe until we do this quest it stays as the rains forever. Which isn't really an issue. Maybe for the people living here. Don't kill big turtle, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got a friend to help us, this is pig man. I guess I can 
swap back to my bangle. Pigman from Minecraft. Just a little less zombie. I actually came here uh, much earlier in this playthrough, despite these enemies being about the level we are now. We snuck in here to steal that item lets us talk to the funny chickens. Which there's really no reason to do, but I think it's funny. There's some pig men were the default pig, and they were like villagers or something. Yeah, there's a lot of like lost to times NPCs in Minecraft. Shoutouts to to what was it, Lana or Rana? A funny pig lady, or not pig lady, frog lady. Yeah, frog girl. Miss her as well, yeah. I like her a lot, but also I don't know how she would fit into Minecraft, so I'm okay with her not being here. Okay, this quest is, is kind of annoying because the big turtle we need to kill only spawns when it's raining really, really heavily. But it's always so hard to tell whether it's raining heavily or not. I seem to remember we leave out this way and come back and gauge how it's raining is the best way. I thought that was enough rain already. Pretty darn dark and dreary. Is this enough? There it is. Okay. Big boy. He's red. Spooky. Do I have anyone with? Gill toss. I think I'd be funny. I don't. I don't much Slovene does. Not enough. Guy like a boss. Disable guy. Okay, thank God that only hit Ash. <laughs> he was drawn into the urn. We've slurped him back up. Finally, the rain will stop.
Right, we have to come back to them in the dries. What a pain. Right, it is girl snap. <laughs> Just a turtle who likes, likes a little munch on a maiden. No, he's a gill snapper, which also doesn't quite make sense, because gill is money. And what does that have to do with him being the Lord of the Rains? <laughs> I don't know. I know that gill snapper is like a recurring enemy in these games, but like... Why is that specifically the gill snapper? I do not know. Really makes you think, doesn't it? Why are the turtles handcuffed? I don't know, honestly. It's a weird design decision. But all of the turtles have those chains. It's pretty strange. Like, surely they weren't born like that, right? Like, that don't make no sense. Handcuffed, that's why they move so slow. Mm, they're being restrained. It's like Rock Lee. Being held back so they can be ever stronger. Hey, funny ghost guy. Micro week, so cold, so cold. Poor guy, he's dead though. True lore noted. Turtles slow and cuffs. Broccoli noted. So we gotta wait for the dries now to complete that one. We're a ward of justice, which means we might be able to get more. Let's see. It's last one we were a vanguard. the big ones. This is the one we've been waiting for, Orthros. I think that's the only one we'll get in Boucher, but... Oh no, I guess there's there's one more before we need to go back there. But we need to do them one at a time. Because each hunt you do there gives you another key to go further in the mine. It's a bit of a pain. We'll talk to Ballsack finally. And then we'll do the, the waterway. Now that we've got both the slimy hunts to do. 
We'll do the both the slimes. We might do a secret optional boss. And we'll enter that passcode that we we we, uh, we found right at the start of stream. Anyone remember that? You, you were taking notes, right? I think I remember the secret code at the very least. I know you can look it up. It's a letter, I think, but pretty sure I remember it. Just got here, but there might be a number in there. <laughs> it's actually, it's cardinal directions. North, east, south, west, and then their, their combinations. Thanks for the hydrate bridge. South end of the waterway. Northeast, southwest, more like one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's the same thing, you're right. Right, so we need to maneuver all this to here, I believe, east and west. We might only be able to get to one right now, if I remember correctly. Because we do not have the key for the sluice gates. And as thus the water is in the way. A lot. There's chests. Because if they have magic in them, it'll be a pain to have to come back here later. Because of all those loose gates we saw at the start, changes how you can go through this area. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a pain to maneuver. All right, here's white moose. This is a funny pudding that the moose dropped. Some Kronos tears on that. Should change that to Ally Stop. And is spamming Aqua God. What the hell? I feel like he doesn't normally do that. <laughs> what a weird slug. He's a, he's a mutated pudding. A strange lad. What a metal slug. He don't look like metal to me. He maybe he maybe smells like metal. Oh wow, would you look at that? There's no way there's just another boss in the next room. That's crazy. I think this one's harder, so you may be careful.
No, it doesn't smell. No got noises. Noises. Oh, yeah, this boss is, uh... It's special. It actually only spawns if every character in your party is, is female. And the only hint that you get uh, from uh, the quest giver on that is that she is female and she's very she's very forward about being female and how she's a very very uh, precious desert flower and she's so pretty and beautiful and that's probably why I wanted to fight me and all that so that's a little, a little obscure for no real reason <laughs> But thankfully, we already had the all-female party. Lord noted. Thanks. There's a lot of little weird uh, spawning conditions for all the hunts in this game. And then there's the, the even more optional hunts, the hunts that you don't even have to do to get 100% in the game, which are extra, extra obscure. I don't think I've even done all of them. And one of them's like, you gotta go into the hardest area, well, one of the hardest areas of the game, fight the most dangerous enemy, and instead of killing it, you gotta, like, drag it all the way across the entire screen and it's a it's a mess well, why would they do that uh content <laughs> optional content It's a very, it's a very strange thing. Cause it's like, they, I mean, they reward you for killing the things by giving you like essentially a voucher that you can use at a shop. And it's, I mean, it's good. You can get some good exclusive stuff out of it, but it's really not worth it, I feel. And there's no real other incentive to do it. Like a lot of the stuff, optional stuff in this game comes down to like, yeah, I want the, I want the achievements. I wanna, I wanna see the funny guy and the sky pirate thing. But those just don't have any attached to it for some reason. I guess because they're a bit more of a pain. I'm considering doing it for this playthrough because I've never, never gone through all of it before. Oh shoot, it's blocked off here. Man. I have to go all the way around. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll just zoom. It's already nearly been three hours. We're only just starting to get to the hunts that'll be possibly challenging to do. I guess there is a lot of walking to be done for all of these. That's probably what's taken the most time. Yeah. 
I honestly, I should probably just be building Ash as a magician. Because when she uses dark like that, it just slaps. It's just a shame she doesn't know any of the other magics. Go on your good friend, good luck with the gaming. See you later. Thank you for dropping by. And good luck with whatever you're doing. And thank you for the hydrate. Thing. Soon enough we're going to be changing the water all over in this area. I'm going to wish misfortune in my gaming session. Thanks, Nunk Slide. I appreciate it. I'm not sure if we have much that's left up to luck to do, though. Maybe? Maybe we do? I'm trying to think of what we have coming up. Heck is a hornito? Is that a gun? It's a bomb. Is it a better bomb than the bomb I already had? No. <laughs> I honestly forgot that I had the bomb. We didn't get much time to actually test the thing. Hornito. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said, yeah. <laughs> We gotta get our key. Alright. Got all your stolen goods back. There you go, lady. fragment, which is actually a very important item. Who would have thunk? That's a... Uh, there's a... There's a... The longest side quest in this game is uh, getting three medallions. There was a guy that we met near the end of last stream. At least near the end of what we did in Final Fantasy XII last stream. <laughs> uh, we met a guy in like a spooky, like, demolished area, and he told us that he needed someone to find his two disciples who were going across the land to find amulets to open doors that sealed a, a powerful demon deep within the, the graveyard area there. And the, these these disciples were going out looking for these medallions, and that fragment is one quarter of one of the medallions. <laughs> so we've done a little bit. But completing this quest, we will be able to get another quarter fragment pretty quick. We got the key. I'll check to see if there's any more hunts for us to pick up. And we'll go use the key. Bloodwing. Right all the way up there. That's one of the more annoying ones to get to. Oh, the Deadlands. 
Now we're getting into the real spicy hunts. Belfenheim, that's where we are in the story. Lindworm. Okay, that's where it gets really hard. Okay. We're almost there. Overlord, honestly, not that bad. Despite being rank 6. Goliath is... he's kind of a bit yes. Yeah. Death Scythe, oh boy. <laughs> Okay, okay. These are the ones that I remember a bit more. A little bit more iconic. Right, oh, let's go. Uh, turn some sluice gates. <laughs> Trying to think of a trying to think of a better word, but I can think of one. My name, my my brain can only think of fadangle. I don't think that's a real word. <laughs> Let's go finesse our way about a sewer. Alrighty, here's here's the here's the the quiz to everyone who is paying attention at the start of stream. But the secret, you may notice. Now that we've got this key, we can use these things, which control sluice gates, which in turn control the water levels. Wow. And the hint said, loose the water, loose the gates, one or the other, and then gave us a sequence. If I remember correctly, this is something I haven't memorized, I just had to... I'm trying to remember it from the, uh, the note itself earlier. It was east. Southeast. East, southwest, southeast, I think. Unfortunately, we do have to watch this entire cutscene every time. East, southeast. Imagine if they gave you a sequester puzzle. What do you mean by a sequester puzzle? East. East, southeast, east, southwest, southeast. So now we gotta do southwest. We did east, southeast, east, southwest, and southeast. I don't know, probably something from the witness. <laughs> I mean, we did sequester some things in the witness, I suppose. I think I used that word a lot when we were doing the witness. Hopefully that'll be it. Sound is the only confirmation you get that something actually happened. Watch look at that. A little tiny sparkle. Very easy to miss. It's a fragment of the medallion we need. We're not done here though. As you can see, there's this entire area in the middle we've not been to. And I want to go there. And I think what we need to do is drain an entire side. I always forget how this works. Okay, let's uh, start with this side.
So now I think it should be drained over there. Yeah. Right, you can only have two at once. So... I forget what it is we have to do. I believe... Move this one over now. I think. Let's see how this is work. There's no water there. No water there. No water here. Is that... Yeah, so those ones are closed, but these ones are open. So we're getting water from the left side now. So what we need to do now is close water off on the left side. I think? I don't know if this is correct. Okay, so no water there, nor there. We still got water in the middle. So it comes down to we need to clear out the middle. Shoot, what was the end today? So I think it ends up you have to have the two middle ones closed. But in a certain order so there's no water in it. Or maybe it is just you put the two middle ones. This puzzle has never quite made perfect sense to me, because it's, it's not really obvious where the water is coming from. Like, you'd think it's coming from here, right? And then, like, going into this water and then going through the gates. But it never quite makes sense to me for some reason. I don't know. all this confusing glowing stuff on the ground too which I think is supposed to like illustrate what's full of water and what's not it doesn't help <laughs> except for I believe a circle glows that never glows when we get this correct Must be all full of water right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shoot. What was it I had to do then? Right, okay, so. We need to close the water in the middle. do that. I don't remember if it's like we need a specific thing to close this one or just like a certain sequence to 
not have water in the way. It might be smooth brained. I'm gonna explore the, the dry in this area though, before I do anything else. Because it's an area we haven't been to yet. Oh shoot, I chose the long way. Not often you get to walk in the bottom of the sewer. Gotta take the chances you get. Oh, that was death. Yikers. Guilt measure. Actually, come to think of it, it might be something to do with these rooms. So we're working my way over there. Secret sluice gate over here. Number one north sluice gate. Which is which ones? Something moved in the distance. You are drowned. That's a rare enemy, I think. Minecraft drowned. Oh, right, we're at a echo herbs. I forgot to get more. We are stuck being silenced. It wasn't for their cutscene taking like 30 seconds every time you open one of these things. This wouldn't be so bad. But by golly, does it take a bit of time? <laughs> Should still be water in there, right? Yeah. Right, because we, we closed this one, but we need to close that one in the distance. That's why you have to do both sides. I am slowly remembering.
Right ho. More strange orb to smash. Die, bad boy. I think we only need to change one more. Yeah, so you just close. Oh, there's a bunch of dudes here. Oh my god. Jump scared. This is where we're trying to get to. One more orb to press, and then we'll be there. I guess it's two, because we have to move this one. right it should work because we closed the north and south and then these two that we have now block the east and west so it should be dry in the middle yeah a funny glowing orb okay I don't think this boss is super hard but I could be I could be misremembering. Oops. I seem to remember there being a lot of poison and maybe disease even. So yeah, we don't have cleanse. So I'll be something. Oh shoot. This side. Whoa. Who shut the door? There he is, the big boy himself. With the lovely smile. Alright, and he, he drains your HP. That's his thing. This is Kuklain. He's, uh, honestly among my favorite of the, uh, the Espers. Is he just so silly? Um, this is going to be a bit of a struggle because he's going to keep spawning these guys. And we don't really have much magic to deal with that. Immune to gravity, that's good. <laughs> Alright, we are already kind of dying. I'm gonna swap to an axe. Because these guys are immune to poison, which is what those bombs are doing. Asuna, because there's just so much being thrown around that she's going to spend an entire an eternity doing that. Don't 
double Kira to get us all topped off. We'll try and kill this Fubar. Or misses. Oh my god, Fran, can you please hit a shot? Flash. Oh, that's to save. God damn. Um, well, there's not much I can do about that. I just gotta kind of wait that out. That's not good. Here's Ash and Disabled Mel. She's just slow as well. That's very unfortunate. Disable Guy is one of the scariest things in this game because it can just entirely annihilate your entire party. Because there's literally nothing you can do in your Disable. So this will be. Interesting. There your boy Kuklain it is. Okay, looks like we got all the reses off. We'll just let one die. This might be a death for me. Hopefully we can kill all the foo bars at least. We're at one zero three. Still one zero three. Threes, two twos. Okay, one, two, one. Zero one again. We might be able to get holy out of this pretty easy. I must be strong. If I could get any luck whatsoever, what the hell? Two of them still had bars and none of the ones fucked up. <laughs> and I missed the misjudge because I was focusing on them. God damn. Wait, that got us literally nothing because we had no ones. God damn. That's unlucky. We we did too many strong ones and not enough weak ones. So we didn't even get the, the splash damage out of that. Well, that's not good. Do we got many elixirs? We got two. Please no. Okay. 
Pinello made it through. That is great. Uh, do you have anything to get rid of disable? Might be able to remedy it off. I don't think there's anything else for it. Yeah. Okay, let's just done here and hit that on Ash. Thank you, Remedy Lore. And I'll get that sleep off here too. Oh shoot, Penel's about to die. That's going to poison. Yeah, she's going to poison. Okay. Okay, free cast cure on self and have Fran. Phoenix down, I should get the heal on her. Hopefully. No, just a little off. Sable guy again. You love to see it. Just as soon as I was about to recover from it. Hasting. Brown start killing. Mobilize. Alright. Mobilize isn't too bad because we can just swap to the bomb. Ranged. Shame we were immobilized close enough to be splashed by that, though. Invert. Oh, that's scary. He really doesn't like vanilla. <laughs> okay, finally doing damage to the boss. Disable guy, please. Of course it was on Fran. Oh my god. It is the worst possible outcome. It is straight up down to RNG, whether it will wear off in time at this point. And it's looking like it will. Nope. God damn. Hey, Ovexi, welcome on in. How you been, my dude? Alright, we can do this. I will simply make it easier on myself. Okay, so first order of business, we want to clear out those foo bars very, very quickly. Secondly, do we have anything to stop disable? Black belt. Pop that on Ash. Cat and cheese. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> Alright. 
That should make this bearable. And then the other thing I'm going to resort to is using boats to kill all the uh, all the, the ants in the beginning. So normally you just use magic, but we don't got the magic for that. Invert right off the beginning, Jesus. This guy might kill me right at the start. Yep. That's a little rude. Invert's especially bad because what it does right is it swaps your mana with your health. So Fran would swap to 300 health. But then this boss fight also just has the innate condition where you're always draining health. Not to mention they poison and sap you constantly. So, uh... Invert is pretty much just instant death. Top health always draining. Fubar B. You right, Diggy. You right. Oh, that's not good. All right, uh, we're bringing out the skate flow now. That didn't kill. Jesus. That is surprising. Maybe we'll pop up Luzara. Probably should heal first, but... I ain't no baby. I can take a couple hits, right? Nope. <laughs> Maybe I can get Ash up before that cure goes up. No. Hey, how you doing, Diggy? Oh, come on in. I don't know if I actually said that. Are you still using your... your act? Okay. We're a little bit more stable now. Thanks for the hydrate perch. Just the boss now. Too immobilized. Not too bad. We can deal with that. I might pop an antidote on them though. You guys just played like six hours of Fall Guys. God damn. That's a, that's a lot of Fall Guys. That is more Fall Guys than I have probably ever seen in my life. Oh, he's using the lays. Okay, that didn't do much for good. Slow go, we don't like. Is that gonna hit dash? Yeah. Sable go, also not good. It's a shame we didn't get haste out on Ash before disable guy. Uh, oh, Penelope, you're gonna die. You can level 99 Mecha Godzilla costume. <laughs> that sounds that sounds like a badge of honor. You got this, my man. Sloga! Again?
And a disable guy. And do I have a haste go mode? I do. I'm just gonna use that. Or maybe I should do that. After no no we're good. Tuna on Pinello. Tuna on Fran. Pinello here. Ah, oh, Fran's dead. Great. Get the rays out. Cure up, hopefully. Save God. God damn. And the slow Okay, Pinello. We'll do our first attack first. And then haste. And then she can cast whatever the hell she wants while we heal up. Alright, I'm going to... Hold up. Just realize we don't have the third one. We still don't have enough for it, man. Or do we? We do. Finally, shatter, right? Right. Pop this out real quick. See if we can't do a good chunk with it. Zero, three, two. Zero, zero, two. That's not good. <laughs> okay, zero, zero, two again. We get to see Shadowheart for the first time now. Oh, is that going to be the, the Mecha Godzilla DD? I'll check that in, in just a sec after this sequence. Alright, triple zero. That's not good. That's very not good. Discharge. Zero two zero. Zero again. <laughs> it's keeping us on the ropes here. Alright. That's not gonna do very much. We did get a bunch of threes, but we didn't get enough ones to back them up, I think. Might get a concurrence, but not much. Yeah, only arc. That will be peanuts, I think. Okay, you know what? That's a, that's a sizable chunk. I'll take it. Let me get this image real quick, though. Oh my god. That seems that's scary. That's the most scary bean I've ever seen in my life. 
Gogeta. Look at him, look at him. Isn't that menacing? It looks like it's a man who's about to take my lunch money. And I don't like it. I don't want him. I don't want him to beat me up, man. Majestic. That's a word for it. <laughs> Alright, where are we? Pretty healthy. A little bit of blind, a little bit of sap. He's probably going to disable soon. Mana Spring. Okay, so you can do anything now. I'm probably gonna do his ult, if I were to guess. Oh, invert. Got it just in time, let's go. I'm gonna just keep spamming Qs for now. Disable Ga, okay. Buffer Asuna. I didn't hit Fran. Fran's far enough away. That's great. I might actually just intentionally move her further now. Haste on Ash first. She's keeping us alive. He's starting to hit harder though. He's starting to hit like a truck on Vanilla. I'm just gonna keep casting cure. Sloga will buffer haste. Slow and then immediate haste. You gotta love it. Immobilize God. We don't care about that. Our two person doing damage are both ranged. <laughs> Stable God, that's a little bit. Start buffering into Suna. Suna Fran, get Penelo to cure as soon as she's up. She's a little bit too far away from Fran. Invert, oh, that's not good timing. Oh, she died anyways. Because of the drain. Alright. Fran will res her. Well, Ash begins to Kira. Let's bring out a Drown Black. We haven't seen him yet. I'm just going to bring him out and then immediately use his big attack. Have we ever gotten out all those ice cubes? I mean, what else was I going to do with my time piece? <laughs> Alright, Judgment Bolt. Big boy attack. just standing there. <laughs> I did like no damage. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, back in position. Friend. 
is disabled. That's good. Sable guy's using that now? Yes. It's only eating Penella though, let's go. Friends being inverted. Put a heal and also push her. Just to make sure she doesn't die. Oh, it was too early. Ooh, she might die. It's so rough. The the invert on this fight is basically just instant death. Mobilize god, we don't like that right now. Don't mind disabled god though. stays in the same position, we might be able to just cure August spam Ash to victory. Although there is the drain, I suppose. Slow ga at a time like this. Sable got it's gonna hit Pinello. Is I too early? No, I got just in time. Let's go. Okay, invert on Ash. Now should be good to use a potion. Hopefully. Yes. Although I think my cure was perfectly timed too. She's being inverted again. Hopefully this is timed well. Okay. Wasn't, but the heal worked. Vanilla all of a sudden, man. It's very rude. Alright, we've got him on the ropes. Uh oh, Ash might die right now. Invert! Both just finished the Kira too. You know what I'm gonna do? Is everyone within range? This might go very poorly if they're not within range. <laughs> it might go poorly anyways, to be honest. 
but he doesn't have much help left. We, like, if we get, like, Inferno, he's probably fine. No Which I think we've already got. Got a 1, 2, and a 3, so... Ends now. You know, we've been mocking all of these attacks for being really, really noisy and very vocal, but I think this one might be the most vocal of all. <laughs> Sheer number of that she does, as compared to her other ones, which is a bunch of slapping noises. He's, he's definitely dead. I'm gonna still keep milking it, see if we can't get a black hole, but... We'll see. I'm surprised we're getting up to a 7 chain when we had, like, three bars to our name. <laughs> oh my god. Another three, too. threes have we done so far? I think we've done at least two. We've done two for sure. Maybe three? Oh. That's tough though. This is probably the, the one you're going to see the most, is this Thunder one. Because it's basically the strongest one you can do without getting the really, really, really strong ones. Which you just gotta get like a certain number of each. Uh, three twos and ones. I like how thick his crystal is. <laughs> He's a big boy. Nell cartwheel, let's go. Who claimed the impure? All right, does that get us anything interesting? Gets Fran shades of black. <laughs> Which is funny, but not very handy. Is this good clean? It is good clean. Ash gets... Gauze? Okay. I don't mind that. We could turn into a full-time mage if we do that. She's got the one already. Nello gets nothing, so that's fine. Don't care about Vaughn. He gets Stamp, which is useless. It's probably going out on Ash, then. What else can we get? Great Swords, you don't really care about. Battle Lore is okay. Heavy Armor is probably the best. Yeah, we're good to go for that. Got Kuklain in our main party. Let's we'll go. Could summon him on command. Jeez, Ash is almost done here, board. What in the hell? If 
finally getting magic one. I think next we'll probably get... Oh, I, I was supposed to get this. I'm dumb. I'm a doofus. Shell shield and gambits would be next, I think. That corner in general. Alright. Got any funky chests around here? No. Oh, let's skedaddle then. A double cheeseburger dingus. That's me. Alright, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna head to the orange crystal. I'll pop a save there. And then I think I'll, I'll probably call it for tonight. We got we got some good progress. We got a lot of side quests down. We're, we're starting to get into the ones that will actually be interesting to fight. And we'll probably... We might even run into some where we might want to get Redis in our party before we do them. So we'll have to continue this story. Which we'll do once May is back. Haha, <laughs> you're such a double cheeseburger dingus indeed. Yeah, that's what I said. Alrighty. Pop that save. Okay. Let's look for someone to raid, shall we? Uh, plans for the future tomorrow is Patapon. We'll continue Patapon and Patapom, Pom, Patapatapom, Pom, Patapoms. Occasional Shaka Shaka. That's the plan for now. Uh, after that, it would be Juice on Tuesday. And. Uh, yeah, that's me. But, yeah. For now, just hang around. Let me get some to raid. Shame we can't listen to music while we're raiding. Because it pauses when you tab out. Hell, even a don da don da don I don't know about that one. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I feel like we don't need the rain all that much anymore. It doesn't come up very often. And the wind one just killed us that one time, so I'm, I'm afraid of it. Let's see. This could be good. How we do the pom pata pom pata? But we lost that one when I died. <laughs> see if they're going much longer. I think they normally do. Let's see how long have they been up. Eighteen minutes. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to send you guys over to Genevieve. Y'all know Genevieve, and by this point, I'm sure she's very chill. He's some more streamer quite often, and she's playing some Animal Crossing. So it'll be a nice, comfy end of the, end of the day. And I think that's all what, what, what we all need right about now. Could run it back. Maybe after we beat the next Love and Fat Upon, we'll do that. But yeah, send you guys over to Genevieve Roscoe. Yo, she's got, oh my god. She's got a, she's got a special model for Animal Crossing. That's cute. Genevieve Rosco, is that spelled right? Yes, sir. Cool. Enjoy Genevieve. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good sleep. Get some, get a drink. Have some food. Look after yourselves. Don't get heat stroke. Uh, call your mom. And uh, enjoy. Oh my gosh. That makes me so happy.